Welcome back to Blender Frenzy. I'm Justin and I have my physics object here. We're continuing to go through the physics options. If you don't have a physics object yet, select your object, come to the physics properties tab and then check rigid body. Uh, we've done our uh, rigid body type, our settings, our collision box, and now we are going to talk about surface response, specifically friction and bounciness for this. So currently this is what we have which actually is not too bad. Um, I actually kind of like these settings, but maybe could use a little bit more bounciness. So I'm just going to up this bounciness here to 0.5 and go back to frame one. And you can see, oh, that didn't actually change anything. That acts just like no bounciness. And let's crank it all the way up. Why not? Boom. Oh, nothing. And let's just type a number here. Let's type 20 because you can go past the slider there. Boom. Okay, nothing. There's nothing there. And that is because the bounciness and I'm guessing also the friction settings work in tandem with other objects. So we have to select our plane, our ground floor, and we actually have to set this as a setting as well. So this can't be zero. Any bounciness or friction apply to two objects, obviously not just one. So um, now that we have that, let's see what we've got. Boom. Okay. That's uh, that shot way up there because we have, uh, we have this, boom. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Um, we have this still at 20. So we're just going to put that back down to 0.5 and then see what we have here. Okay. So now you can see we we're getting some, a uh, little bit different results here. I'm going to just crank this up to one and see what we get for. So that's a little bit more bouncy. And then uh, let's just crank this one up to one as well. See what we get. Boom, boom. Now we've got something bouncing along there. Boom. Okay. Uh, of course, we can stop that bounce or at least uh, maybe slow it down if we crank that friction up. Let's do the same thing here. And because this is a little bit different result, it's not slowing it down much, but that's okay. Um, so if though we crank the friction all the way down for both of these, you can see this bounces and it just keeps bouncing up and down for the most part. Now this also does kind of seem to uh, change its effect with um, the geometry. So depending on how much geometry or how little geometry, uh, just you'll have to play around with it. I've had different results. Sometimes it will bounce straight up and down for a while and then it will start to veer off and bounce to the side. But if you are going for something that's just straight up and down, try removing all of the friction because what's happening is once it hits the floor, um, there's no there's no grab at all. There's no direction to pull one way or the other, and then it just keeps going up and down with the bounciness all the way at one. Of course, you can see the bounciness getting more and more as we have this at one. So I think it continues to increase as long as you have that physics cache, of course. Um, so. If you don't want that to happen, I would probably put these down to, you know, something like 0 0.8 or 0 0.9. Let's try 0 0.8 and see what happens there. Okay, so that kind of continues to go down. Maybe 0 0.9, we'll see 0 0.95. 0 0.95. And we kind of have something like this to where it's not continuing to increase, but maybe kind of maintaining its bounciness there. So yeah, if you wanted something like that. But of course, I don't want something like that. So I am going to mess with these settings. I'm gonna bring this back to 0.5 for both of these, for the friction. And then for the bounciness of the floor, I'm just gonna have that at 0.5. And then we'll adjust this. Let's try 0.5, see what that looks like. Okay, that's not quite as bouncy because remember, this is going to be a toilet paper roll. So I'm going to bring that up to 0.8. I think that's what I had it set at. Yeah, so that acts a little bit more 
like a toilet paper. I'm going to bring this more to the side so when it bounces on the side there, boom. Yes, so that acts a lot more like a toilet paper roll, and we can disable those settings here. Now, if you have this outline around your object, just go here and you can um, see like this. And I just find this kind of distracts from when it when it's like hitting the edges. Maybe you like that, but uh, you can toggle that on and off by just coming up to here and that, clicking unchecking that outline. And then just that dark outline goes away. You can also change the color of it too. So something like that, which of course I don't like at all. Um, so I'm just going to uncheck that. But yeah, that looks like as if I was holding a toilet paper roll uh, a few feet off of the floor and just dropped it. That's kind of what it would look like. So I'm going to keep my friction and bounciness just like that. All right, so that's how you can change your friction and bounciness. More settings to come in the next few videos.